Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be talking about categories. Now, if you are logged into your WordPress system, go to Posts, Categories, and let's look at the official uh, definition here. You can use categories to define sections of your site and group related posts. The default category is uncategorized until you change it. Basically categories are just that. They're various categories that you can create to store posts in so people can find your posts more logically. Now if you take a look at my interviewing authors website, let's see if I have categories listed. I don't remember if I do. Some of the categories on my website, uh, advice for authors, authors, business, experts, featured books, fiction, general, et cetera, et cetera. Categories are uh, how you uh, file things away, if you will. You create these categories. So if someone, for example, comes here and they're interested in business, they can click on business and they're going to see all of the posts that have been added under the category of business. It's just a great way to organize your website and give your users a better experience. Now, the categories that you have are completely dependent on what you are doing. You might uh, be doing a, a small business blog, so your categories might be small business, entrepreneurship, uh, startup, funding, Again, think of it as a filing system. If you are talking about the overall topic of entrepreneurship or small business and you had a filing cabinet, what would those file folders be labeled? So let's look at how you manage this. Now, when you set up WordPress, it comes with one category, and that is uncategorized, which basically means nothing. It just means there's this huge category that's not defined. Now you can delete that category or you can edit it and make it something a little more relevant. So on our website, one of our categories might be blogging. All right. Now the slug is a, a not very nice name of, of what uh, uh, this uh, category is going to be called. It's the URL friendly version of the name, so I'm going to just call it blogging. Uh, there is no parent. What this means is, uh, are you nesting one category under another? And I'll show you that in just a second. You can type a brief description. This category is about blogging. And it's early here, so my fingers and my mouth are not working. Click update, go back out to my categories and you're going to see that now blogging is a category and you can see that we have two articles that are under blogging now these are the two posts that we did originally and they were under uncategorized if you recall well because we changed that to blogging they're now going to be listed under blogging see this is they were posted in uncategorized if i refresh this page you're going to see that it is now posted under blogging and if I look over here on my right side widget, blogging is now a category and I have two articles under blogging. All right, so let's create another category. Let's create a category called uh, SEO and this is search engine optimization. We're going to slug it SEO, no parent and I'm not going to worry about a description on this one because the description is just for your benefit anyway. So I'm going to click add new category and let's do another one. Let's do um, uh, marketing. All right, marketing. And that's it. Now I want to look at how you add uh, categories nested under other categories. So if I go out to my website, one thing to make uh, a point about here is when I click refresh, even though I've just added categories, they're not showing up. The reason they're not showing up is they have no content under that category. If I go here and look, I don't have anything under marketing or SEO. Okay, both of my articles are under blogging. Now, if I want, let's uh, go out and just create uh, a new post. And I'm doing this just to show you how categories work. And we're going to talk, uh, let's say this is how you market and I'm going to put some uh, placeholder text here. Let's 
see how well I can type in the morning. The quick brown fox. Believe it or not, I used to be a much quicker typist than I am now. But let's just grab that text just to, uh, to have some content on the page. And again, I'm doing this to, de to demonstrate categories and category nesting. All right, so there's my blog. I'm not going to worry about, uh, yeah, actually, let's do Let's put a picture in just to remain consistent. Uh, I'm going to grab this one and just insert it into my post. And now you'll see under categories, I have the option of posting this under blogging, under marketing, under SEO, or under all three. So I'm going to put it under marketing, and I'm also going to put it under SEO, just so we'll have something there. Uh, also from here, if I wanted to add a new category, I could. If I came up with a, a category on the fly and I wanted to add it, I could just do that, click new, and there it is. Very, very handy. All right. So let me set us a, a featured image here just to remain consistent. Did I click it? There we go. All right. So I'm going to publish. And now when I go back out to our home page, there is the most recent post. Remember, the most recent is added at the top if that's the way you have it set up. And I used a featured image here as well as an image embedded in the uh, code itself. See, I just used a feature image there. But now when I go here, I see that I have categories. And I click under Marketing, and lo and behold, there is my marketing article. Let's do one thing while we're here. Now, you've seen how it works with featured images. It posts the big image on the page. If you remove the featured image and click Update and go back out to our home page, the featured image is no longer there. You see the image that is in the article. And I actually like this much better. Some people do like the, the big picture here. And you could do it either way, or you could do it both ways. It doesn't matter. Just keep in mind that if you do use, at least with this template, with this theme, rather, with the uh, Suits theme, that is how it handles it. So that's how you manage categories. Just keep in mind categories. Again, think of it as a uh, your blog is in a file drawer, and categories are the folders that you will put things in, and you do that so you have a logical navigational structure to your website uh, that people can follow. Again, you can have as many uh, categories or as few as you need. So go in here, play with this, add court categories, take them away. Remember, if you do have the category widget set up, it's going to show the categories over on the sidebar there and uh, just make it really easy for people to navigate your site.